Hello, children. Welcome to another session of children's liturgy. This is the sixth Sunday of Easter. The theme for this week is God's gift of peace. Let's listen to the gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said. If you love me, my Father will love you, and the Holy Spirit will live in your hearts and fill you with wisdom and goodness. I leave you the gift of my peace, a peace which comes from God alone. Remember, do not be afraid, because I will be with you always. The Gospel of the Lord. What a wonderful promise Jesus has left us. Let's recall what Jesus has promised us. From today's gospel reading, Jesus said that if we love Him, God will love us, and that the Holy Spirit will live in our hearts. Put your hand on your heart and take a moment to ponder about this. Jesus said that the Holy Spirit will live in our hearts if we love Him. Jesus also said. That the Holy Spirit will fill us with wisdom and goodness. He will also leave us the gift of peace. It's a gift, meaning it's freely given to you and me. Not any kind of peace, but the peace which comes from God alone. What does the word peace mean to you? Peace means to be calm and quiet, and being free from disturbance or trouble. Everyone loves the feeling of peace because that means we feel at ease and sure that we are safe. No worries or troubles bothering us. How often do you feel at peace? Most of the time. Sometimes, or. Seldom. If God has given us His peace, shouldn't we feel it all the time? There was a child who shared what she thinks about peace. She said, "Peace is something that is almost impossible. There are always fights, problems, and stress. Big things like war." And small things like quarrels always happen. But every once in a while, the world may have a minute of peace. I can somewhat understand what she means, and sometimes I feel the same too, especially when there are troubles in my life. Do you feel the same way as she does sometimes? For example. The COVID pandemic has caused so many people to be ill, and has caused so many inconveniences in our lives. There were lockdowns. We could not have gatherings with family and friends. Thankfully, it's getting better now. With the news of war breaking out in different countries, how horrifying it is for the people who have to flee from their homes. They get hungry because they can't find food to eat, and they're living in fear that they or their family might get killed. At home, maybe you also feel irritated and frustrated when you quarrel with your siblings or family members. How can we feel at peace when there is trouble in our lives and around the world? Let me explain a little more. About how the gift of God's peace is different from the peace that comes from the world. Peace does not mean that our hearts are free from worries, because there's no fighting and no war. Peace is the feeling of calmness, even when everything around us is unpeaceful. What does it mean to have the peace of God? And how can we find it when there is so much chaos happening in our lives? 
There is a story about an art contest started by a man who was searching for the perfect picture of peace. The artists were told to paint whatever they felt would best portray peace. Some artists painted serene landscapes with sunsets and fields of beautiful flowers. There was a painting with a still, quiet lake, with a reflection as clear as glass. Each was amazing and beautiful. But when the winner was unveiled, everyone was surprised. The painting looks anything but peaceful. There were dark clouds and lightning bolts over the sky. Waves crashed on the rocky hillside with raging waters below. It doesn't look peaceful at all. However, if you take a closer look at the painting, just beneath the gushing waterfalls, you will notice a little bird with a nest of babies tucked underneath the edge of a rock. In the midst of the storm, the mother bird has found a sanctuary, a safe place to keep her babies and rest her wings. The title of the winning painting was Peace in the Midst of the Storm. In the same way, sometimes we feel troubling emotions when there are fights and quarrels, or when there are problems in our lives. Like the big storm in the picture, our hearts do not feel at peace. Yet, God says He has given us His gift of peace. How do we receive and feel God's peace? In Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, St. Paul reminds us, do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. St. Paul is reminding us to not worry about anything at all, but to lift up all our burdens to Him in prayer, while giving thanks to God. When we do that, instead of holding on to our troubles, we allow the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts and minds with God's peace. The mother burned a picture found a very safe and secure place to build a nest for her baby birds. No matter how stormy the weather was, or how fierce and dangerous the waves are, they will not harm the baby birds, and they will be kept safe. In the same way, this is one of Jesus' final messages to his disciples. Before he was brought up to heaven, he reminded the disciples, and all of us too, that God has given us the gift of peace through the Holy Spirit. Just like the mother bird who found a safe sanctuary for her baby birds, God is our refuge whom we can run to and find peace as long as we pray and lift up all our burdens to Him and trust Him with all our hearts. Jesus also reminded his disciples and us to not be afraid because he will be with us always, in good times and in bad times. God is so good. In summary, today's gospel is a reminder that we can choose to worry, get angry, and panic when you're in trouble. Or, we can choose to have faith in God by praying and entrusting all our troubles to Him so that the Holy Spirit can fill our hearts and minds with God's peace. Let's pray. Dear God, 
we thank you for your gift of peace through your Holy Spirit. Whenever I'm worried, angry, or afraid, help me to remember that I can turn to you in prayer. I know you love me, and I trust you. I give you all my troubles. Thank you that you will help me through them, no matter how difficult and impossible they seem. Fill me with your peace, dear Holy Spirit, and guard my heart and mind. Thank you for being with me always. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen.